Cancer Australia's statement, Influencing Best Practice in Breast Cancer, provides the evidence to support effective patient-centred cancer care and improve cancer outcomes. The statement is based on the best available evidence supported by expert clinical and consumer advice. Each year in Australia, around 2,000 people are diagnosed with a non-invasive type of breast cancer called ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS. When I was diagnosed with DCIS, I'd heard of sentinel node biopsy, surgically removing a lymph node to check and see if the cancer had spread. So I asked my surgeon if I needed to have that done. For most patients with DCIS having breast-conserving surgery, the answer is no. We know that the risk of DCIS spreading to other parts of the body is very low, so a test like sentinel node biopsy to look for cancer spread is unnecessary in the majority of cases. We may recommend a sentinel node biopsy if the patient is considered at high risk of having invasive disease. For example, if there are large areas of high-grade DCIS, if there is extensive disease approaching 5 cm in extent, or if the DCIS is associated with a palpable mass. For most of us with DCIS having breast conserving surgery, sentinel node biopsy is an unnecessary procedure. What I realised was that it's actually not good for us to be put through such tests if they're not going to be of any benefit. Which is why it is not appropriate to offer sentinel node biopsy to patients diagnosed with DCIS having breast conserving surgery unless it's clinically indicated. For more information on the Cancer Australia statement and key appropriate and not appropriate breast cancer practices, visit canceraustralia.gov.au.